with the Latvia. Page number 18 on PDF on the Surabi fourth lesson. So here we have a grammar. Start reading it. Okay. In this lesson, lesson four, in this lesson, we will learn the use of prepositions. Arabic nouns have endings to show their functions in the sentence. The normal ending of a noun is un, un or u, as in al I mean dhamma. Dhamma. Okay. So, uh, is is dhamma as in al baytu jadidun? The house is new. A noun with a normal ending is said to be in the nominative case. In Arabic, it's called marfu, marfuun. After a preposition, this ending is changed to e, uh, kasra. I kasra. Kasra. I. For example, al baytu becomes fil bayti. So the house, fil bayti is in the house, baytun. A house becomes fi baytin in a house. Al maktabu the table. Al al maktabi on the table. So a noun which is preceded by a preposition is said to be in the genitive case. So in Arabic it's called majrurun. So remember this point. Then in Arabic we use dhamma with every word. If we use any other vowel, we should have special reason for that. If we don't have reason, we cannot use any other vowel. We will use dhamma, okay? okay. And the word with dhamma is called marfu. Any word which has dhamma on it is called marfu. And any word which has kasra on it is called majroor. Remember these three points. Memorize these three points, okay? Harfajar give uh, Harfajar make the word majroor. Harfajar makes the word majroor. Okay. What what makes the word majroor? Harfajar. Harfajar means Harfajar. Harfajar. Okay. Okay. Harfajar. Yes. Harfajar means preposition, and Harfajar makes the word majroor. Okay. Miss Sana, read the next point. Second point. Uh, in this lesson, we also learn the two pronouns hua, he, it, and hia, she, it. Uh, in Arabic, all pronouns are either masculine or feminine. Masculine noun is referred to by the pronoun hua. It is denote, denotes a human being, an animal, or thing. Uh, where is the boy? Aina waladu. Aina waladu. Ainal Waladu, where is the boy? Huwa fil masjidi, he is in the mosque. Uh, the word uh, fi has a long, has a long. Uh, Kasra. That is or it known as long vowel. Long, long vowel. vowel. Has a long vowel. But when it is followed by al, the uh, alif is shortened. The kasra is shortened. The kasra is shortened. Because in Arabic, long vowels are not followed by consonant. Consonant. consonant which has, which has no vowel. vowel. I didn't understand this. Uh... So let's say, okay, so for do example. You, do... Okay, start. So if you say fil uh, masjidi, so um, so this is the uh, so fi baiti, right? So so typically you say fi, which has a long kasara. Long, long think, madda also. Right, uh, okay. long. Let, yes. You, yeah, you can try to explain. Let, let me tell you. In Arabic, there are three law, three madda. First is known as alif madda, second is known as ya madda, and third one is known as waw madda. And ya madda mean is sukoon on ya, and before ya we have kasra. So this word, when written separate, it's pronounced like fi. I have elongated the pronunciation of ya, fi. But when we have a sukoon after this, 
we don't read ya pamda we just read fa kasra lam sakin i ignore the ya i ignore the ya because of lam sukun so it become fil it become fil ya is not pronounced here okay what is consonant in arabic consonant mean all other uh, pronunciation or pronunciation other than vowels are known as consonant okay. and what are vowels just in arabic in arabic we have three vowel fatha kasra and damma but at the moment keep the thing simple it will be better for you just remember okay. that we we will not read ya in this word we'll just read fil fa okay. kasra lam sakin fil and this is because we have to ya yeah, because at the moment keep the thing simple okay in black and white so final kitabu where is the book who are al al maktabi it is on the table so and a feminine noun is referred to by the pronoun here whether it denotes a human being an animal or a thing for example aina aminatu where is amina here fil baiti she is in the house aina saatu where is the watch here ala sariri it is on the bed most feminine nouns end with around ta ta marbuta but there are some which do not have any ending now one question why this word is majroor because uh, there is a preposition harf jar yes yeah, correct because of this a figure because of her figure this word is majroor and when we don't have a figure we use the mom word okay and here you also learn the first sign of femininity there are many signs of femininity and one of these sign is ta marbuta round ta any word which has round ta then is considered as feminine word in arabic next uh, we have uh, what well, aina is it preposition or noun aina aina is a word is a noun noun okay yes aina uh-huh. we um we have learned that tanwin is the indefinite article by tun aina i think aina is a preposition right or because no, no, fi is a preposition ala is a preposition is, yeah no no ana and aina are not preposition only fi is a fee, preposition, fee, preposition. Okay. yes only fi okay okay you will learn four uh-huh. preposition in this lesson fi ala and min and there is one more written in the lesson most feminine nouns end with round ta but there are some which do not have any ending note uh, we have learned that tanwin is indefinite article baitun a house this rule does not apply to proper nouns so hamidun is just hamid not a hamid so translation a hamid is wrong Okay. okay. And the feminine proper nouns have no tanwin. Aminu, Rab. Aminatu. Aminatu. Um. Zainabu. Um. Uh, Zainabu Fatima Tu. Good. Now you both tell me your names in Arabic, keeping this rule in your mind. So I'll be Mujaddidun. Good. And she. Sana, Sana tu. Use the my that Sana tu. Okay. So in Arabic, your name is Sana tu, and his name is Mujaddadun Tanwin. Remember this rule, okay? But uh, Zainabu, there is no Tanwin. Because Zainab is a female, with female name we cannot use Tanwin. We use Dhamma. with female names we use dhamma with male names we use tanwin this right. is the difference the question is so so since it's so oh it it, it has to so because sana 
doesn't end with uh, with there is no there is no tamar buta and there is no dhamma at the end. So that's why you have to add a tamar buta. That's what that's why. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Tamar Buddha at the end of Sanna, but I think you don't know, maybe. Okay. Mm. These are round Tamar Buddha at the end of Sanna. Okay. I have just added Dhamma at the end. Mm -hmm. Can you say Zainabhattu? No. Zainabhattu is, uh, is wrong, but Sanna too, because these are Tamar Buddha at the end of Sanna, just like Fatima. Okay. At least now that many people pronounce Fatima, which oh, is correct pronunciation. Actually, but actually, there is a Tamar Buddha at the end. Okay, but only if the Tamar Buddha is in the name, we can put Tamar Buddha. If it is yeah. not there, we cannot put. Mm. Right? Yes. In Zainab, right. there is no Tamar Buddha, right? So we correct. have to just say Zainab. Yes. Next. Ala on Aina uh, as Vir uh, Sky Asama U Gurfatu Room Gurfatun Gurfatun Room Al Faslu Classroom Al Hamamu Bathroom Al Mirkhasu uh, Toilet uh, Al Madbakh Kitchen Al Madbaku kitchen. Fi in. No, Adasurabi. Okay, Adasurabia. Al Baitu, Il Baiti. So Al Baitu is the house. Fil uh, Baiti is in the house. Al Masjidu. The mosque, fil masjidi, in the mosque. Al maktabu, the table. Al al maktabi, on the table. As sariru, the bed. Al as sariri, on the bed. Okay, Miss Anna, kindly tell me why we are using kasra. Why this word is majroor? Uh, because uh, there is fee before bait. Bait. Yeah. bait. Because of her figure fi, this word is majroor, correct. Okay. And why this word is marfu? Because there is no her figure. Because of alif lam in the start, this word is marfu. Okay. We learned this in the second chapter. Whenever yes. we have alif lam in the start, we use dhamma at the end. We okay. cannot use tanween here. Your answer is also correct, but this is more better according to the lesson. Okay. Now, Miss, uh, now Mr. Mujadar will, will ask question and Miss Sana will answer him. Okay. Aina Muhammadun. Where is Muhammad? Huwa fil gurfati. He is in the room. Wa mm. aina yasirun. Work in Hamami. Uh, uh, he is in the uh, bathroom. And where is Yasir? Yasir. Mm -hmm. And and where is Yasir? He is in the bathroom. Bathroom. Fil Hamami. Wa Aina Aminatu. And where is Amina? Here Fil Matbakhi. She is in the kitchen. Aina Al Kitabu. Where is the book? Hua alal maktab, it is on the table. Hua alal maktabi, it is on the table. Wa aina saatu, and where is the watch? Hia ala sariri, it is on the bed. Tamarine exercises, ajibanil asilatil atiya. Answer about the following questions. So we have, let me check how many questions. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 questions. Mr. Mujaddad, read the first five questions. 
Ayn al-Kitabu, where is the book? Who uh, Ayn al-Kitabu? Huwa ala al-Maktabi, it is on the table. Ayn Muhammadun, where is Muhammad? Huwa fil, uh, fil matbakhi, uh, he is in the kitchen. Aina Saatu, where is the watch? Hiya ala sariri, it is on the bed. Aina Yasirun, where is Yasir? Hua fil ghurfati, he is in the room. Aina Aminatu, where is Amina? Hiya fil hammami, she is in the bathroom. Amina to fill Gurfa. Uh, 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 Is Amina in the room? Uh, uh, la uh, Amina fill Maktab. No, Amina is in the kitchen. Madbahi. 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 Kitchen. Uh, Yasir fil madbakhi uh, is Yasir in the kitchen? Uh, kitchen? La Amina fil madbakhi. Amin, no, Amina is in the kitchen. Man but, fi uh, tell us where is Yasir because the question is asked about the Yasir. Okay. Oh, uh, Yasir uh, fil gurfati. Yes, uh, uh, so the answer uh, yes. is la. The answer is la. Yasirun filgur fati. La yasirun filgur fati. Man filgur fati who is in the room. Uh, Amina filgur fati. Amina tu filgur. Amina tu filgur fati. Amina is in the room. Woman fill hammami, and who is in the bathroom? Uh, Yasir fill hammami. Yasirun fill hammami. Yasirun fill hammami. Yasir is in the bathroom. Maza alal maktabi. What is on the table? Uh, Al Kitabu fil Maktab Al Kitabu Al Kitabu Al Al Maktabi. The book is on the table. Maza Al Sarir. What is on the Maza Al Sariri? What is on the bed? Asatu Al Sariri. The watch is on the bed. Next. If I want to, uh, Mazapti, uh, Kalimati, Kalimati, Kalimati. Read yeah. and write with correct endings. With correct endings. Read and Read write. the first line. Al Madrasa tu. Fil Madrasati. So Al Madrasatu is at the school. Fil Madrasati is in the school. Fil Baiti in, in the house. Al Baitu, the house. Al Gurfatu, uh, Al Gurfatu, the room. Al Hammamu, the bathroom. Fil Madbakhi, uh, in the kitchen. Amsana. Mm -hmm. Uh, al Maktab, the Al Maktabu, Al Maktabu, the uh, kitchen, al -al the desk, the table. The, oh, okay. The desk, Al Al Maktabi on the desk, Al Al Kursi, Al Al Kursi on the chair. Uh, as Sariru, 
the bed alal kitabi on the uh, book fil masjidi in the masjid kada waqto read and write we have we have 10 sentences read the first five at-talibu fil jamiati the student is in the university ar-rajulu fil masjidi the man is in the masjid aina tajiru where is the merchant huwa fi dukan huwa fi dukani he is in the shop okay one uh, let me tell you one thing here this word is not fit dukani ka dukan is munu min asarf and it is fit dukana but you will learn this rule later inshallah so at the moment you can say who was fit dukan okay but remember that in future this will be different next al khalamu रूम <laughs> टीचर Fil Fasli, he is in the class. Aina Yasir, Yasir, Yasiru. Where is Yasirun? Yasirun. Aina Yasirun. Where is Yasir? Huwa Fil Mirhazi. He is in the uh, toilet. Toilet. Ash mm, Ashamsu. wal ash-shamsu wal khamaru fi as-samaa'i the mo- the sun and the moon in the sky are in the sky man fil fazli who is in the uh, bathroom in the class who is in the class fazli so here you see in the names of males are written in one column and names of females are written in the other column and you know that with masculine name we use the noon with feminine name we use the ma read this muhammadun khalidun hamidun yasirun ammarun saidun aliyun abbasun good aminatu zainabu fatimatu maryamu aishatu khadijatu safiyatu rukhayyatu okay yes i'm good as you already learned that maybe you have learned that in the rules of tajweed that we usually don't pronounce the last vowel of a sentence or a word so that's why you often hear okay sorry someone was calling me okay sorry someone was calling me okay sure. then fatima we often hear aisha khatija so this is because of that Rule of the week. Okay, next we have Ikra Waktu. 
which means I, and Anta, which means you. Ana, I, is for both masculine and feminine. For example, Ana Muhammadun, I am Muhammad. Ana Aminatu, I am Amina. But Anta, which is you, is only for masculine singular. So you will learn the feminine and the plural forms later on. We also learn here two words. Zahaba, which means he went, and Kharaja, which means he went out. So note the following. Where is Bilal? Aina Bilalun? Zahaba ilal masjidi. He went to the mosque. Zahaba Bilalun ilal masjidi. Bilal went to the mosque. So, Zahaba means he went. But if it is followed by a noun as the subject, the pronoun, he, is dropped. Any question from this? So, okay. Zahaba ilal masjidi. He went to the mosque. Zahaba bilalun ilal masjidi. So, uh, it is followed by a noun. As the subject, the pronoun he is drop. Um, because okay. in this sentence so, we don't. Right, right. You cannot, you cannot use since Bilal is uh, since Bilal yes. has come. You cannot use yes. he Bilal. So it's only yes. Bilal. Right. Right. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Um, min, min from. If it is followed by al, it becomes mm, mm, uh, min, mina. Uh, al, Philippine, Phil Filipino, al Filipino, uh, ila to the Philippines. Ila to Al Mother Satu other Al Mother Sat Al Madrasatu Al Madrasatu School the school Al Yaban Japan Al Yabanu Japan Asufu the market uh, um, Asinu, China, at Jamia, the university, Jamia to the university, uh, Al Hindu, uh, India, Al Mudiru, the headmaster. What is the rule, brother, in the uh, the starting there is a rule. For example, min becomes mina. mina. Okay. 
this is because of al so here we have already lam sukoon on lam and we cannot keep two sukoon together so instead of writing this sukoon we convert it into fata and it become okay. mina so mina. when min is followed by al we pronounce minal for example minal masjidi minal baiti yes. yes noon so sukoon on noon changes into fata but okay. we write sukoon Okay, start reading it. Al baitu min al baiti. Al baitu is the house. Min al min al baiti is uh, from the house. Good. Al masjidu the mosque. Il al masjidi. to the masjid to the mosque yes to the masjid to the mosque okay mr mujaddad you are al mudarris and miss sana you are muhammad okay so al mudarris is me min aina anta uh, where are you from ana min al yabani i am from japan again al mudarris that's me wa min aina ammarun where is ammar from wa min sin sini is from china al mudarris wa min aina hamidun and where is hamid from wa min al hind he is from india aina abbasun where is abbas ओके Uh-huh. what is the meaning brother of karaja and zahaba karaja he went out <coughs> and okay. zahaba he went he went yes. so both are for the uh, masculine gender yes you will learn about feminine later inshallah okay. zahaba ilal mudiri he went uh, to the uh, headmaster wa ayna zahaba aliun and uh, where did ali go or where ali went where ali went zahaba ilal mirhazi he went to the toilet in exercises ajib ani masalat latiya answer about the following questions so mr mujaddad min aina anta min aina anta where are you from uh, ana min al america i am from america miss sana min aina anti ana ana min al america Anna min al America, okay. Mr. Mujaddad, a anta min al Philippine. Ah, uh, anta f- min al Philippine. Ah, uh, are you from Philippine? La, anna min al America. No, Miss, I am from America. Miss Sana, a anti min al Philippine. La, anna min al America. Okay. So, Miss Mister Mujaddar, read the next two questions. Okay. Uh, man, Mina C, Mina Cini. Uh, who is from China? Um, I can answer. Um, uh, uh, you can use any uh, name. Chang. Okay. Uh, 
min aina hamidun uh, where is hamid from hamidun uh, minal pakistan pakistani and it will be better if you use pronoun huwa okay pronoun okay uh, but here he says min aina hamidun right oh, okay min aina hamid okay huwa minal uh, minal hindi ala ala ilal madiri mudiri zahaba ilal mudiri zahaba ilal mudiri he went to the uh, headmaster ikhra waqt one more question zahaba zahaba alal aliyun zahaba aliyun zahaba aliyun ilal mudiri zahaba a zahaba aliyun ilal mudiri did ali go to the headmaster uh, la uh, zahaba ilal mirhazi no he went to the toilet ikra waqtu ma dabti wa akhir kalimati read and write with correct ending the scene and match in salat ul maghrib okay inshallah we also have to go to salat ul fajr inshallah yes inshallah we'll start homework you told in the whatsapp pdf uh, video yes what in in whatsapp uh, you told to do homework like uh, pdf write homework in pdf what is that yes i often give homework to the student so they okay. write on these pdf books and send me but i think you don't need this you already know these things these are okay revision for you so inshallah i will give you homework later okay but okay. okay inshallah we'll start tomorrow allah hafiz yeah. allah hafiz